Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy DJ Chris and this is the second video in my series of dub plate mixing tips and these are just tips. Um, I'm not claiming to be an expert. I'm just a guy who loves music and these are things I've picked up over the years and I've noticed a lack of these type of videos for specifically for dub plates. So I'm trying to get this information out there uh, to people that might be interested in learning this. Um, listen, if you're a Grammy award-winning producer, you have certifications and degrees and platinum plaques on your wall. This video is probably not for you. This is for the novice. This is for someone who's getting into it and wants to learn how to mix their own dubs or wants to learn how to import and, and mess around with the uh, stems and things like that. Uh, I use the term stems and um, I'm going to break it down what stems are. Basically, stems are just the parts of the track. So the voice, the vocal, that's one part of the track, that's one channel, that's a stem. The instrumental is the second part, that's a stem, okay? Um, basically, I'm using Ableton, and I wanna show you guys this real quick. This is a two-screen setup that I'm using, all right? Everybody's you know, setup is gonna be different, everybody's studio is gonna be different. I'm just showing you a quick uh, thing what I do. Why I like the two screens is because one screen can be for the session view, and one screen can be for the arrangement view. Now, in the last video, I showed you how to get the stems out of Audacity and onto a folder in your computer, okay? Now, as you can see here, I've made a folder called Frankie Paul Stems, all right? Um, this artist is Frankie Paul. It's a dub plate that I was sent, split, left and right, and now I'm going to try and mix everything together, tie it all together, all right? Put some effects on it, make it sound good, make it pop, get it ready to play in the clubs, all right? So, Frankie Paul, we have the instrumental, and Vox means vocal, okay? So, simply, this will work with any DAW. What I like to do is, I like to just drag it into the uh, arrangement view. So, I take it here, boom, pop it in. That's the, that's the vocal. And there is the instrumental, all right? This is my little technique. This is just to get it into your DAW. Now that it's in your DAW, all right, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, basically, you know, Ableton is great because you have a ton of effects, a ton of things you can do, and you have a ton of uh, editing options you can work with, and it's pretty easy to work with. So that's just how to get it into your DAW. This will work with Pro Tools, with anything. Drag it in, drag it into the you know the uh, the editing window. Each track will light up. You see, both tracks: track one, track two, audio, and that's basically it. So one track is the voice. This is the Double Electric Sound Station, which you know will play by itself. And then here's the instrumental. If you solo that, and I'll play it from like right here. So you see, now you hear that is a little, uh, is a little, it's going to need a little cleaning, but yeah, I'm going to make sure I take care of all that. Don't worry. But um, that's what I got. That's what I've been sent. So I'm going to work with this, and I'm going to show you guys more tips and tricks as time goes on. Um, again, you take the stems from your folder, you drag them one by one into your DAW, and now it's going to be perfectly on time. Everything's going to be linked up. Now you can edit it. Now I can take the voice. I can add some reverb. I can add some delay. I can add some compression and some further processing. I could boost up the instrumental a little. You can see it's kind of low. So I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to mix it. I'm going to master it. And I'm going to get back to you guys in another video. Peace.